today to condemn Cambodia's shame election, which took place on 23rd of July, and the transfers of powers from Hun Sen to his son, Hun Manet. The shame election could be described as the least free and least fair in decades. The main opposition party and the only credible challenges uh, to the ruling party uh, was barred from contesting the election. If that wasn't bad enough, the leading up to the election was mirrored by arrests and violence against opposition party members and supporters, civil society, as well as trade unionists. This is history repeating. Rewinding to the last election in 2018, when the CPP won every single seat in the National Assembly after the main opposition party was dissolved and its leader, Mr. Kam Sokha, sent him to 27 years in jail. To say that Cambodia is a democracy is lovable. The country was promised so much under the Paris Peace Accord in 1991. Pluralist democracy, free and fair elections, human rights for all. These concepts are but a dream to, for too many Cambodians. The Cambodian community here in Victoria will continue to speak out in solidarity with those suffering and to pursue what was promised in the accord. And we will continue to push the Australian government to do the same with targeted sanctions, visa bans and asset freezes. Thank you.